In this video, we're going to walk through how to create a sign out form that will track some really cool data points for you to know about your students and how often they're leaving the classroom. This form was created by Scott Summers, who set up all of these different formulas and information to help us better understand um, where students are and why they're leaving the classroom. So the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to go to file and we are going to make a copy of this Google Sheet. When you make a copy, feel free to rename it. And then you're going to go ahead and hit make a copy. Once it makes a copy, we will be able to edit our version. So right here again, this is the template that you're going to make a copy of. And the reason you're making a copy of the Google Sheet and not the Google Form is because of all of these different formulas that Scott has put into this system. Okay, so right here is my Google form, and I'm going to go to the form response number one. I want to do this first because I first want to turn on an extension. So right here where it says extension, copy down, I'm going to go to copy down settings. So again, first step is make a copy so it's your own, and then we're going to turn on this extension. So that way with all of these formulas, it will copy down every time somebody submits a new Google form. So all you have to do is click turn on. And then once you turn on, I'm going to go ahead and delete this response. I want all of these different values. So again, from row two, where Scott filled out, you do not want to delete this example. You're going to go ahead and click all of these, or you can go down here and you're going to select all of these formulas. Once you do that, you're going to hit save settings. And that is going to save all of those settings onto this Google sh uh, Sheet. So when every time students fill out the form, it will copy over and the other tabs will just work. So now that we've got that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at our Google Form. So we're going to go into Tools, Manage Form, and we're going to edit the form. This is where you're going to add your names and why students might leave the classroom. So again, you're going to add your teachers your teams, your school of teachers, whoever to this Google form. I am doing this by teams, so I'm just going to have these three teachers. You might also want to go up here and rename it so that you know this is your copy of the Google form. So again, go in, update your teachers, um, decide how you want your students to click. Are they clicking by whose current class they're in, or will you have them click by home room? For this activity, I'm going to go ahead and change current teacher to homeroom. I'm going to kind of talk about why in a little bit. <clears throat> and then any reasons as to why they might leave, you are able to add that in here. So restroom, office, clinic, school counseling office, media center, all of those different re reasons um, could really help. And so again, think about why your students are leaving. Teachers who are here also need to be on this tab. So where it says list of teachers, you need to put their last name then you need to put in Mr. or Miss or Mrs. And then you need to put their email address. Okay, so again, you're pulling all this information so that way all the formulas will work. Once you have that set, you can go down here and you are able to hide the sheet. You don't need it anymore. We just need it on that form so the formulas will pull. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna go back and I can see my Google form and I'm just gonna submit it a couple of times. So I'm gonna click the little eyeball and I'm just going to click it so I can show you how these forms work. So right there, I did that one. All right, so now that I've got some tests, I'm gonna go back to my Google Sheet and we can see that the formula copy down is working and I can see all of this information pulling down. Now, you can, if you want to, hide these tabs right here. These tabs are just giving you some data. That's up to you, but it's just pulling in again some of those formulas. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide this sheet. And this again is my Google form. So once you kind of get it set up, you can keep it up or you can kind of get away from it. But these are the three that we're going to be looking at um, majority of the time. These ones right here are, just creating all of the formulas for these other reports. So right here, I can use my drop down, and I am able to pull 
a report and I can see every single time that I have signed out of Mrs. James class. So total this year um, has been four and then total today is two. The total today is based on how many times I use the restroom. Okay. So I'm gonna kind of put that here for you. So the way that Scott put this up is if students had to visit a counselor or something like that, it didn't count against them. It was mostly just when they had to use the restroom. So again, I can see how many times I've gone and who my homeroom teacher is. If you did a current class, this would change to whose teacher they're mostly leaving the classroom. And if we go to Scott's, we can see that he has Mr. Jackson and he has um, left one time and the last time was in November of 19. The next one is where I can flip by teacher. So if I flip by teacher, I can see that this myself, um, I am that student in this class. I've been out four times, again, total today, and this is based on restroom. Um, it's pulling that information because we didn't want to penalize students if they had to go to the office or to the counselor or something like that. So that is pulling from restroom. And then this last one is a kind of nice one. It will tell you how many total times students have been out this whole year and then most frequent bathroom visits today. So then you can say yes or no based on that information and you can start to kind of look for patterns. And that is all you have to set up because Scott did all of the formulas for you, which is super helpful. So huge shout out to Scott. But it is kind of nice to be able to pull up these three tabs and quickly see how or when your students are using the restroom and then you can kind of keep track. If you need any help, please feel free to reach out.